Good evening, everyone. My name is Sarah Benizio with the Bronx Chamber of Commerce. Thank you so much for joining us this evening for addressing social determinants of health and choosing a health insurance plan. This will be presented by our Bronx Chamber corporate member, Fidelis Care. And we're gonna get started in just a couple of moments while we let everyone trickle in. I know it's the end of the work day, or at least I hope it's the end of all of your work days. And we'll let everybody come in over the next couple of minutes. All right, it's a couple of minutes after five. We can get started in just a moment. Do want to advise everyone who's joined us today that we are recording this webinar, so it will be available. Uh, we'll send out the link through uh, our Bronx Chamber communications, uh, including email and also social media. So you'll be able to take it in after the fact, so you don't miss a thing. All right, so welcome everyone. My name is Sarah Benizio. I am with the Bronx Chamber of Commerce. I work on a variety of initiatives from capacity building to program development to communications. And I'm joined today by my Bronx Chamber colleague, Francisco Aguilar, and he is our membership manager. So I'm gonna turn it over to him for just a moment for his welcome remarks. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our Fidelis Care Partnership webinar with the Bronx Chamber of Commerce. As Sarah mentioned, my name is Francisco and I'm the membership manager here with the chamber. Um, basically, I uh, assist with any matter that any membership uh, partner that would need, including um, simple resources to referrals to putting together a webinar such as this for our Bronx business community. Um, I think today um, for all of us that have joined us, um, this is something that's very important for us to get involved with and understand um, the health aspect of our Bronx community. Um, it's something that obviously with the COVID pandemic has really taken um, a step forward in the idea that we need to be more productive, more um, outspoken about what our health means to us. And I think Fidelis, a great partner of ours with the Bronx Chamber of Commerce um, is the ones that could really shed a light on this for our Bronx business community. So thank you, Sarah, for providing me an opportunity. And if anyone would be interested in learning more about anything regarding Bronx Chamber membership or just our Bronx Chamber in general and how we can help out your business, uh, please feel free to reach out to me. I will leave my details in the chat. But if you're listening to this uh, from a recording, uh, you can reach me at Francisco at bronxchamber.org. Thank you, and Sarah. I was muted. Thank you so much, Francisco. That was a great introduction. Um, I do want to emphasize uh, the importance, as you said, of the focus on our health, which I think, you know, COVID has shined such a spotlight on 
the need for us to just take a different approach than perhaps we have in years past. And, you know, as a chamber of commerce, a membership driven organization that has over 350 active members and growing every day, what we want to do is make the resources of our member businesses and organizations available and visible to all the other members so that we all know what each other is doing. And, you know, this is a prime opportunity now. I know that open enrollment is going through at least January 31st with a possible extension. So, um, you know, now is the time if you don't have healthcare to get healthcare. And I'm really looking forward to hearing much more about that and for our members to come into uh, the fray as well. So with that, I want to introduce our amazing panel from Fidelis Care. Um, I'm gonna start with Mr. Omar Faridi because Omar is just, he's just been an amazing new member in 2021 uh, or new member representative in uh, 2021 for uh, the Bronx Chamber. Now we're in 2022 and we're really starting to see uh, the fruits of our partnership come together. Uh, but he first, came to the chamber to say, hey, we want to, we want to sponsor membership for uh, 10 small businesses, right? So in his role as community relations, you know, this was a, an amazing opportunity to create relationships on his end and also, um, you know, foster relationships amongst our membership as well. And, you know, we had an amazing launch day of our uh, adopt a member cohort through this. And I'm very excited to say that, you know, thanks to Fidelis Care, we have these new members who have really joined in and gotten a lot out of chamber membership uh, at no cost to them for the first year because their memberships were sponsored by Fidelis Care. And to me, there's really no better example of an amazing member slash partner. Uh, so thank you so much, Omar, for, you know, approaching the chamber with this incredible offer. I know that you had also done the same with our Queen's Chamber of Commerce. So that's, um, you know, a really awesome way to make a name for oneself uh, in the borough, even more so than you already have. Obviously, many people have heard of Fidelis Care, but this really helps personalize the efforts and what it means for you to be part of our business community. So um, I just want to say thank you for that and also the opportunity to meet your incredible colleagues this evening. So we actually have two Rodolfos with us, uh, Mr. Rodolfo Solis and also Mr. Rodolfo Cano. Um, and I apologize if I'm butchering any pronunciations, uh, who also goes by Rudy. And we have Mr. Ranfi Contreras as well. So we have a great panel tonight uh, of those who are going to uh, talk to us about addressing the social determinants uh, that can impact health outcomes and also how we can um, you know, address these with preventive care and other aspects of uh, a good health insurance plan. So. With that, um, I, I want to pass it over to a uh, wonderful colleague, Omar, to, uh, to proceed with our presentation. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, Sara. Thank you, Francisco. Thank you, the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, it's really great to partner with you guys. And uh, like you mentioned, COVID has been affecting our community, especially the Bronx community that we all live and, and convive with. It's been, it's been rough for many, uh, nonetheless community, but as well as businesses. That's why we came up with this initiative. And honestly, it's working well, given the platform such as used to few organizations and few small businesses that needed that help just to shine even a little better. Uh, my name is Omar and I am the community relations uh, with Fidelis Care. Uh, I've been with the company for a little bit over four years working with many communities throughout the five boroughs. Now I'm working in the Bronx. Uh, I'm gonna put my phone and the contact information for everyone who needed any uh, question, any advice, any uh, applying for health insurance or request information. My phone is gonna be right on the chat. Uh, Fidelis. Fidelis Care honestly is uh, one of the leading health insurance companies in the New York state. And uh, like any other organizations, we do have a mission. Uh, Rudy, you wanna go for?
Thank you. Okay, Omar, there you go. My apologies for that technical glitch. Go ahead. Thank you. Oh, you know what? Let me jump in real quick. I'm sorry to cut you off before you even begun. <laughs> I just want to say that we are going to accept questions throughout the presentation. Uh, just put them in the chat or the Q&A. I will review them. And in between sections or slides, I will I will queue them up for our presenters. So we want to keep it relatively um, interactive and, and, of course, engaging for you. Thank you. Yeah. Like I mentioned, Fidelis, like any other organization, we have a mission. Uh, quality health coverage is really uh, Fidelis Care's mission. And for us, for anyone to know our health plan, we are very committed to quality. We provide many uh, products and services, and as well as we, we try to have an outstanding member services to help our communities. Next slide. Uh, here. Next slide. Okay, sorry about that. Go ahead. Like I mentioned, Fidelis is a mission driven health plan. We are very committed to transforming the health of the communities we serve literally one person at a time. We are founded on 1993. We are now, as the leader in government sponsored health insurance program serving more than 2.3 million members in all 62 counties in the New York State. But basically one in every nine New Yorkers is a Fidelis Care member. We have over 80,000 members. We have 80,000 primary, primary care providers, specialists, uh, as well as hospitals throughout our uh, provider state, statewide provider network. We employ over 3,000 employees and we have joined the Santin family of health plans in 2018. Centene is, uh, is one of uh, the public traded uh, health organizations, health companies. We are ranked number 24 in the Fortune 500 on the stock market. We are very committed to serving our community. We throughout partnership with local providers, schools, community organizations, uh, faith organizations, uh, business organizations, such as the Chamber of Commerce and many other small businesses as well. We are very cult culturally diverse. We multi multilingual trained, facilitated enrollers are able to provide enrollment, renewal, support over the phone, questions, anything for our members as well as for our potential members. Addressing social determinant of health. Many factors com contribute to any individual's health and wellness beyond access to medic medical care. Uh, honestly, now a time, like you mentioned, Sarah, health and wellness really go along, especially because of the, the COVID, especially because of the opportunities that arise after this pandemic hit. Socioeconomic conditions, really can influence health risks and, uh, and outcomes. We have poverty, education, employment, uh, food insecurity, housing instability, access to transportation. All these circumstances contribute to health disparity among underserved and vulnerable populations within our community. Fidelis Care is really committed to working with community partners, with providers, local organizations, to address these social determinants of health for our members and local residents across the whole uh, New York State. We screen new and existing members for social determinants of health and refer them to community organizations that provide support such as food, housing, transportation, and many. Uh, basically, when our team is out there helping individuals, we go beyond just health insurance. We ask questions, we make sure that these uh, members of our community are receiving the best benefit they can, uh, they can have out there. Uh, uh, we partner with organizations that we, through our, our partnership, we know what they do, how we know how they can help these uh, communities. And while we are in one-on-one -on -one with our members, we refer them to these organizations for better, for better health, like I mentioned as simple as food stamp, as simple as housing questions, transportation questions, things like that. 
you're such a well-connected organization. And I think, you know, it's, it's obvious uh, through your other types of partnerships and relationships, such as with the Bronx Chamber, right? There's so many different ways to get the word out. And, um, you know, the pre-screenings, I think it's a very proactive approach to health that we all need to take more of. Very, very, very true, Sarah. Uh, because when you're out there, you're dealing with people, you always have different circumstances that different people have. And uh, we just, we're not, we cannot just, uh, okay, here is your health insurance, bye-bye. No, we go beyond that. Uh, we keep, uh, they keep our numbers, we keep in contact, we receive uh, any questions from these members. And we also, you know, help them with other stuff. Some of the products that Fidelis Care have, we, uh, we have Medicaid. Medicaid is a managed care, uh, state-sponsored, or New York state-sponsored health insurance program. Members are covered for regular checkups, preventative care, routine screening, hospital, emergency care, eye exam, dental, dental care, and, uh, and more. Enrollment is available year-long for those who qualify. This is a very known plan within the New York State, and it's depend, actually applying and qualifying is depend of the income and the size of the household of the individual family and the open enrollment, as we say, it's throughout the whole year for those who qualify. So, so the January 31st uh, open enrollment date that uh, again, may be getting extended, we heard through possibly the mid middle of February does not matter for Medicaid managed care, right? You can any all year round, if you qualify, you can you can at least apply. Um, if you're eligible, you can apply. If you're eligible, yes, you can apply throughout the whole year, depend of the, the, the income and the size hold of the family. We have Healthier Life, it's Fidelis Care's health uh, and recovery plan. It provides people who are eligible for Medicaid and who have specific behavioral health needs with an enhanced benefit package that's so that they can receive all their physical health, for example, uh, behavioral health and other supportive services in one integrated plan. Enrollment is available all year long for this, uh, this uh, product for those who qualify as well. This is just to mention is this is like state identified for some individuals who already have Medicaid and have some other uh, physical health and behavioral health, uh, substance abuse, things like that, that combine these services in one integrated plan just to keep uh, close monitoring on their situation. We have a health, uh, we have a, ch a chip, it's called very known chip, it's called Child mm -hmm. Health Plus. Uh, state-sponsored health insurance program as well, uh, available for children under the age of 19. And uh, members are covered for regular checkups, preventative care, routine screening, hospital, emergency care, eye exam, dental care, uh, and honestly, more than that. Uh, enrollment is available all year long for those who qualify. This is one of the greatest uh, plans in the state of uh, New York. Uh, it's a uh, it's very known as CHIP. The good, the good and the great thing about this product is there is no copay and there is no deductibles. And everybody qualifies, no matter how much, how much is, your, is your income, basically depend of how many children do you have in your household. Really? Uh, wow. Yeah. The greatest thing, and I know many individuals who already have insurance through their employees, they... Uh, prefer the chip for the fact that there is no deductible, there is no uh, copay, and provide excellent service for children basically in the, throughout the whole New York State. So anyone can apply on behalf of their children under the age of 19. Wow. Okay. Regardless of their income and uh, and uh, the fees go from zero to. I don't know exactly, they have like a maximum premium. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's a little bit over $180, no matter how much income you make, regardless of income. Wow. Another product that we have, it's a quality. Can I ask a quick, quick question? Um, I just noticed the asterisk at the bottom. I'm always, my eagle eyes always go toward the fine print. Uh, so obviously we are the Bronx Chamber of Commerce, but we have businesses and business owners who 
might live in other counties. So um, I'm assuming everything you're discussing, uh, Bronx residents qualify for. Can you talk about the exceptions a little bit more? As like, what about let's say surrounding counties, right? The other um, the other boroughs, Queens County, Richmond, Manhattan, New York City, rather, um, Kings. What about um, like Rockland, Westchester, other nearby counties? Uh, I can I can testify that most of these counties qualify for most of our products. Just to, to mention some of the counties, you know, New York State is it's a big state, it's a huge state, oh, yes. and uh, some some of these counties that we don't have uh, like a strong presence, we. Uh, that's why we mentioned that we are not serving oh, okay. those counties, but but more like upstate, you know, further. So, yes, exactly. Gotcha. So just to, just to jump in, uh, Sarah. Also, it is a state. This is a state residence plan, so it's a statewide, uh, oh. shifted statewide. Uh, and it's a, and like Omar is saying, uh, it depends on the need of us, but the chip is a statewide plan. Chip is statewide, right? Okay. Uh, also, I just had a question come in. Uh, thank you, Sharima. Um, thank, she said, thank you for this platform. You're very welcome. Uh, thank you for, for participating. Two questions. She is a registered nurse and she runs a dance company. She would like to do health fairs at her studio. What's the best way to go about that? That's, that's ringing my bell for Omar. He loves a good event. I know that. <laughs> also, can Medicaid or health insurance cover the cost of dance classes for clients? That's a great question because that's certainly a wellness you know, exercise type of a initiative. Okay, so two things. Sharima wants to do health fairs at her studio. So she'd like to, to uh, partner with Fidelis to, to maybe get a representative there, if that's what I'm understanding. And also can Medicaid or another health insurance plan that Fidelis has cover the cost of dance classes for clients? Uh, honestly, that's what I mentioned earlier. We do partner with many small businesses, organizations, faith organizations, uh, social organizations, business organizations, such as you, small businesses. We do, uh, that's to give us a platform just to reach out to their community, provide our products, provide our services, and mainly answering them questions, bring in our uh, basically informational platform to them just to help them in many way. And definitely, yes, she can even contact me. My, my phone is on the chat and we can uh, discuss uh, time like uh, and date, we can talk even further about this and definitely we can provide assistance to her at her events. Wonderful. And are there any um, wellness benefits in any of the plans that maybe maybe they won't necessarily cover dance classes, but is there some like a like a reimbursement or a subsidy or something like that that might apply for something like this? Something wiggle, wiggle room in, in one of the benefits? <laughs> Honestly, yes. Fidelis over, uh, we have a, I'm not sure if uh, dancing classes will qualify as, uh, for example, a gym. If you have a mm -hmm. membership to a gym, Fidelis will pay you, uh, at least as far as I know, as of last year, a maximum of $600 to cover your, your membership, wow. mem membership payment. There is a catch to that. They needed to see that uh, people are going to their gym and they need to see... Uh, like attendance? <laughs> basically, yes. They needed to see that, which is... Uh, uh, Fair enough. Another thing that like we uh, we push for a wellness into our community, just yes, you have to go to the gym. <laughs> mm -hmm. You want, you know, uh, that uh, service. But yes, and you can call me anytime. Great. Thank you, Sharima. That's uh, awesome questions. All right. Again, the, uh, another product that we mentioned is Qualified Health Plan, which it's very much known as Obama, Obamacare. It's available with different designs and level of costs sharing. We have a platinum, a gold, silver, as well as the bronze that are also catastrophic and children, child only product. Specific enrollment period is uh, as of now, we said January 31st with the possible of extension. Uh, we don't know yet, but probably February 15th or even beyond, like last year, I think they extended it even further every month. 
Essential plan. This is a low cost health plan available to qualified individuals year round throughout New York State of Health, uh, the official marketplace. It offers comprehensive coverage with low out of pocket cost and no deductible. Benefits include doctor visits, lab tests, uh, x-rays, hospital care, uh, prescription drugs, dental and division as well. Enrollment available all year long for those who qualify. This is another great product of New York State and it uh, <clears throat> is very helpful for, for uh, some of uh, our members or our, do those New York individuals who could not qualify for Medicaid. Uh, mm -hmm. As of now, the, chair, the New York State marketplace has waived the premium and uh, as of now, it's zero dollars for those who qualify. This is for um, the essential plan, you said? Yes, the essential plan. Okay. And literally for those who did not uh, uh, qualify for Medicaid, uh, depend on their, so their income as well as uh, the size of their household. Another product, and again, I have uh, our supervisor, Rodolfo Solis, he will talk about the, and as well as uh, uh, Ramfi, Ramfi to cover this, this area as well. Mar, uh, we called MLTC. Thank you so much, Omar. Good evening, everyone. My name is Rafi Contreras. I'm Community Relations Specialist for Brooklyn and the Bronx for our managed long-term care product, Fidelis Care at Home. So uh, Fidelis Care at Home is a managed long-term care product available in all 62 counties that benefit individuals who need long-term care services and have or are eligible for New York State Medicaid. These products are designed to help qualify individuals Remain qualified individuals to remain safely in their homes. So just a little bit more about managed long-term care. Um, the eligibility, you must be eligible for Medicaid. You must live in the county that the plan is in. So um, great thing for Dallas is in all 62 counties without managed long-term care. So even if you're in the Bronx and uh, you plan to move to Westchester, Rockland, you, you, know, you get to keep your plan, you know, for Dallas at home and just make a phone call and change your address. You get to keep your plan. So that's always great with Fidelis. Um, you must be determined eligible for managed long-term care by the Medicaid or Maximus office. So they do this through an assessment with a registered nurse that comes to your home, they assess you. Once you determine eligible um, and that you need the services for more than 120 days, that's what they consider long-term, it's 120 days, um, you'll be eligible for managed long-term care. And some of the benefits that you get with that is again, to remain, uh, keep the individual at home safely. So some of the benefits that they'll be able to get in their home is nursing services, therapies, home health aid, personal care services, and private duty nurse. Um, how is most, this, uh, how is this yeah. affected by COVID currently? I was just about to get into that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so um, when COVID hit, when the pandemic hit, uh, two things happened. You know, a lot of people were uh, fearful of their safety of individuals coming from outside of their home, coming inside their home on a daily basis, not knowing you know, what's you know, the uncertainty of if they had COVID at the time, tests were being hard. So um, New York State has a program, CD craft program, where you can have a loved one, a friend, a family member, um, take care of you and, and get paid for it. It's a very popular program. So um, during the pandemic, a lot of people that were laid off and a lot of people that were uh, scared of that outside you know, interaction, they joined the CDPAP program and through Fidelis Care at Home, they were able to have uh, you know, their daughter or possibly you know, a, a friend and family in the same building um, able to receive a paycheck just to take care of them. So um, that's where we saw a big intake during the pandemic of the CDPAP program, where they um, chose the person that was gonna take care of them and you know they became registered with an agency, and then we'll be able to send a payment to that person so we can get paid to take care of their loved ones. So that's where we saw a big intake during the pandemic, which is great because it gave a family member a paycheck during the time where a lot of people were being laid off, and it gave yeah. that person you know security of you know having a loved one taking care of them where they felt safer. And um, so that's that's something we saw a big spike in during the pandemic. We're all trying to keep our circles a little smaller, I would say, these days, right? And yeah. with Fidelis Care being, you know, uh, 
de demonstrated resource navigators. I'm assuming that you kind of have the whole, the whole um, referral sign up process kind of baked right into this plan, right? Where it's, just, I mean, it's such, it seems like it's such an integral part of that, right? So I guess uh, if somebody were to call up, I mean, I'm, you know, we're, we all have parents who are aging, mm -hmm. you know, there's just um, a lot of considerations that I didn't necessarily think I would have at this point, you know, mm -hmm. so these things are on my mind as well. And I've heard the advertisements, you know, have some, have your family member take care mm -hmm. of you and everything. Mm -hmm. And I always wondered, um, you know, when the time comes, if <laughs> how that would work. So, um, so I'm assuming it would be if, if you have Fidelis Care at home that um, a, a Fidelis representative could help uh, put the pieces together, make the connections for to sign up, uh, register, as you said, with an agency, so you'd be eligible and do all of that. With Fidelis Care, you know, we hold your hand through the whole process. You know, you need to apply for Medicaid. We, you know, when they're older, they need to apply at the local office. You know, we do the whole application mm -hmm. from the, you know, wow. now it's over the phone. We do the application, we submit it for them, we follow up with Medicaid. Once they become active and they've chosen for that list, then um, we help them call Maximus to schedule the assessment. We follow up to make sure it's completed. So we schedule our own assessment. So um, with Fidelis, we really hold your hand through the whole process. So, um, definitely, once the person you know, is, is in need of the services, you know, we have a whole team you know, everyone have, plays their part and make sure the person comes out and gets the services they need. We all need a hand to hold these days, <laughs> right? So much yeah. to, to deal with. <laughs> so that's exactly. great news. Great. So Thank again, um, I, I, I was going to say, I uh, also wanted to add that it's, it's not just for um, seniors either. It's, you know, uh, as long as you're 18 and over, you are eligible um, to enroll to the plan. You know, we do have many um, individuals that might be born or might have um, acquired a disability to their life. So as long as they're eight, over 18, they are able to qualify for uh, oh. this uh, plan, yes. So it's not just okay. for seniors. That's a great uh, distinction note. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, and um, the great thing about Fidelis Care also is once you become a member under the Fidelis Care at Home, we assign you a nurse care management team. So it consists of a nurse and a case manager, and um, their responsibility is really to um, call the member to make sure that all their needs are being met. Again, social determinant of health is a big aspect to their quality of health, making sure that their quality of health is, is improving. So um, that's a great part of, of Fidelis Care at Home. And, you have someone that's reaching out to you, making sure you're following up with your providers, um, making sure that you know if there's any food um, issues that we, we're able to assist, that we refer you to an agency in the area that, that can assist. So um, again, with Fidelis Care at Home, the members uh, is our priority. So we make sure we, these are individuals that need the services. Um, so we, we make it a big priority to, to make sure that, that our team is there for them, that, that they feel, you know, they feel the support that they need to make sure that they get any service. I think, uh, you know, with obviously COVID is just the top of mind conversation topic in just so many different ways, right? So you mentioned that Fidelis Care at Home is for qualifying individuals above the age of 18. How many people have now acquired long COVID, as they call it, right, and are going to have very different healthcare needs than they that they did not have before. So, um, you know, that having that is just, it's really valuable. And yes, and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I'll leave my contact information in the chat. And um, yeah, anyone you know that might need the services, a lot of people have, you know, questions just before beginning or knowing, you can always just reach out to me, you know, we can have that discussion. And, and figure out how can we assist them. And um, the Fidelis Care at Home program works very close with our Medicare program. So um, Omar will speak a little bit more to that. And thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Adolfo. Another product that is very known throughout the New York State and as well as the United States, which is Medicare. Uh, Fidelis's product, uh, Medicare product, are uh, we have advantage and dual advantage. 
These products are available to qualifying seniors aged 65 and older and or individuals with disabilities. Uh, Medicare Advantage, also referred to as Part C, coverage replaces Medicare Part A, which is hospital, and Part B, which is medical coverage. Medicare dual cover, dual advantage products are also available for those who qualify for Medicare and full Medicaid coverage. Starting January 1st, 2022, our or Fidelis Care uh, Medicare and dual plan will be called Fidelis by, I mean, well care by Fidelis Care. Annual, and the annual election period for Medicare Advantage products is October 15th through December 7th. Dual Advantage products available all year long for those who qualify. Oh, we have uh, a question coming in from someone you know very well, Omar, from T from the Bronx Collab Space. Hello and welcome. <laughs> Hey community, does the at-home care program component cover mental health services? Ramfi, do you want to take on that? Um, yes, it does. Um, again, it, it is centered around those individual needs. Now, um, is it the main purpose? Uh, no, but you know, any plan in Fidelis, especially now you know, with every, the pandemic is going to be centered around you know, a person's mental health also. And that's kind of where the, the case manager and the nurse care management team to make sure that not only their health is being attended to, but their mental health and their living health is being attended to. So it is an aspect of it. It is included in, in I'll say, all our plans because we definitely, um, but with the um, Fidelis Care at Home, definitely that conversation that you have with the uh, nurse and the care manager um, is where that mental health aspect comes in. And we have you know, additional support social workers on staff that they can speak to. Um, so we have more staff supporting them that they need to speak to someone, you know, they, they're able to refer them over to a Fidelis person that's able to um, assist. So that's not only for a Fidelis care, it's in you know, all lines of fire. Thank you so much. Thank you, Randy. Another product, which is Medicaid uh, Advantage Plus. It's a special Medicare Advantage plan, a Medicare, which is called special need plan, which means benefits are designed for people with specific health care needs. Fidelis Care Medicaid Advantage Plus is designed for people who have Medicare and also qualify for additional coverage and support due to their health condition. Starting January 1st, 2022, our Medicare and dual plans will now be well cared by Fidelis Care. Enrollment available all year long for those who qualify. <laughs> Colleague, Rudy, Rodolfo, take over. If you guys have Thank any you. regarding Medicare, it's very strict, uh, very strict guidelines through the state. And uh, if you have any question, we will have someone from our team reach out to you just to answer those questions. Thank very you. detailed, evening, sure. <laughs> so I am Rodolfo Rudy Cano. I do community relations and business development uh, in Nashville County. Um, and so just to recap, uh, a big focus for us as a health plan is very much to uh, work with our communities, our business owners, and that we're here to help. That is our message. We are here to help. We're here to explain health insurance options and their benefits. We are here to assist with the enrollments or with your renewals. We are here to guide members through the payment process if there is a premium uh, involved. We are here to help you make sure that that is paid and, and processed. We are here to explain terms which oftentimes people may not be too familiar with, such as co-pays or cost share. Questions do come up and our health center are available to help uh, with that process as well. We're here to answer any questions and also provide local resources. 
we are not just focused on, on health insurance, which is a big picture, but we also know that there are a lot of resources that the community also need. And so our health benefit levels are trained to help people point them in the right direction uh, when that uh, need arises. We also provide health insurance information and resources at community events. We see that one of our, one of our, our viewers, our attendees tonight is interested in doing uh, an event. Um, we also partner across the state uh, in many different sites. We have marketing sites which we, we actually table at and we have reps where people in the community come to see, come to see us there as well outside of our, our office. Obviously with the current pandemic, we're doing mostly things remote. But that option is, uh, is definitely available to the community and to the different families as well. We have, uh, for example, created information sessions for business owners to just specifically partner with them on a one to one basis with them and their employees, and then to go through the outline and help them with the application process for themselves and for their families. When you become a member, our members have a support system. Uh, and there are a couple of ways that you can uh, access your information. We have our 888 number, which is 1 888 Fidelis, or 1 888 343 3537. And we have the call caddy PTY number for the 711. We also have a member portal online at our website. And you're able to access that through members.thedelliscare.org. Thedelliscare.org is, is the actual website. The member portal is probably the easiest and most secure way for our members to access their information about their particular plan. It's 24 7 access with their account with Fidelis. They can pay their monthly premium, they can sign up for paper this billing. They can enroll into auto pay if there's an opinion involved, it can automatically be paid out. They can request new ID cards and they can print them out as well. And they can actually access their plan documents. The screen here, you can see a little shot of what their page actually looks like on the website. Uh, uh, another focus of, of the plan is not just to get you enrolled and make sure that you have the coverage, but also that you maintain that coverage and you don't have any lack. So that's our retention efforts. We have a new on our retention team um, to make sure that our members are, we stay in touch with them and make sure that they um, are up to date with their insurance coverage. During the COVID pandemic, uh, New York State Health was automatically in renewing members in Medicaid and the essential plan and the child health plan program, as well as our HARP behavioral program. But now um, that's going to play out, and then we're going to make sure that we do an outreach 60 days before. Um, and the various methods are the letters that will be sent out through email. We'll do telephone outreach and actually calling the members up. We update our website as well. So that's a resource for them to come to uh, and see what, what the latest is with that. And then through our social media outreach, we also do a lot of um, information on those outreach as well. With regard to the actual resources for health, you know, as a plan, we have case management, which is a one-to-one -one support system for our members. This helps them to manage any chronic illness that they may have, such as maybe asthma, diabetes, uh, coronary heart disease, depression, and behavioral health issues, uh, as well as HIV. We have a program, a baby care program for expecting mom, and, and uh, our program will support them throughout the pregnancy into the birth of the baby. When the baby is born, uh, we can assist with getting that child enrolled into the because the mother is automatically covered when they are pregnant. Um, and then when the baby is born, they're enrolled into a plan because now they can be individual part of the household. We have a smoking cessation program as well that uh, members can access, which is free therapy that can help them quit smoking. 
We have a member newsletter that we circulate, and it's a quarterly newsletter that covers cultural topics such as health screening and immunizations. The Dallas Care is our website, and you can get a lot of the information that you need right there. The Dallas Care that all it can be accessed through any web browser or even on your phone or even on any device. Um, it has resources and tools for the members and uh, for providers, including information on the various products that we've been talking about uh, this evening. And also, it gives you an idea of where our offices are and their location. Um, there is a tool also to help you find the doctor. And you can do that search, um, as you can see at the bottom of that page of the website, you can see find a doctor with various options. Um, that search, you can search for pharmacies, you know, specialists, all, the, all of our providers are listed in there. And it's able to just plug in a zip code or the specialty that you're looking for, and then all the information comes up to you. The find a doctor uh, feature is easy to use. You can look for your doctors, pharmacies, hospitals in our network. You can see that the grid will come up. It has a little map to give you an idea of where exactly it's situated. And you just pretty much plug in the information and you filter it out and the search will give you the results. Members can search for provider based on insurance products, you know, whether they're you know, Medicaid only or they're uh, one of the Medal of Honor care plans or they accept all of them. Um, they can search uh, for a provider by the name, by their last name. Or if you're a part of a group, a medical group, you can search uh, through that uh, option. Um, and you can just type in a, a zip code or a county and give you a list of what providers are available. Can I jump in for the, a second? Yes, the, sure. So, so let's say, right, just because of the context of today's webinar, we have, uh, you know, we're, we're the Bronx Chamber of Commerce, we have our, our, our members, our, you know, business owners and organization um, executives, right? So you're, you're a business owner, small business owner, right? Because I, you know, I have a special place in my heart for small businesses, because my family has one, right? I'm a small business owner and um, I want to make Fidelis Care plan information available to my employees, right? I'm not, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm very small. I have a, four employees and I want to um, make sure that they're taking care of themselves and that they're getting coverage, but I don't provide plans, you know, as part of my employee compensation. Right. What's the best, most direct way to see how you qualify and which plans to sign up for? Right. Because there's uh, certain individuals who would be eligible all year round to enroll. And then there are some that will have to get in during open enrollment. Right. Uh, what how do we how do we navigate that search process? Uh, what's the what's the best number or website to, to visit to, to do that process? Well, that's a great question, Sarah. And and, so, and I kind of mentioned it, uh, was mentioned earlier uh, very quickly, but what we do is we create um, what we call informational enrollment sessions. Information. Where we can actually set up with our local health benefit reps in the area, uh, depending on the size of the company or how many people. Uh, we'll have some of our health benefit reps actually come on site. We'll organize, we, you know, we'll do the planning with the business owner and we'll create a flyer, promote the session so that the employees are aware that somebody's going to be coming in from Fidelis on such and such date and such and such time um, to answer questions and to assist with any enrollment um, if that option comes up. Do you, um, are you doing these virtually? in person or both right now? We've, we've done them, we were doing them both now. Depends so on where we're at in the surge, right? <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, it's very effective. Uh, On-site is very effective, uh, but we have to adjust to the current health climate. So, but it's still like we're meeting here. The Zoom is very productive. We're still able to communicate and we're still able to guide them through, through the process. Um, and we would have health benefits that's there who will actually submit the application. Go through the whole uh, the process, explain to them what they're qualifying for, 
and then explain to them what your options are that they qualify for. And then at the end, the ultimate decision is on the uh, on the member or the person that we uh, are speaking to, and then we can process um, the application straight through. So, it's so actually, the, you know, we have the employer can be a conduit, right? right. So the employer the, the employer right. can be the one to reach out to Fidelis and say, please send a representative or set up a Zoom with a representative, and then they'll sign up their employees for for that. Um, info session, exactly. so to speak, and you can go yeah. through each person's um, qualifying information, so to speak, and, and help yeah. them navigate in the right direction. Yeah, yeah, it's a, you know, we, we, it's, a, it's a good process. It's a very one-on-one -on -one type of thing, and it's very helpful uh, because you're able to get answers to your questions and you have somebody that's with you live and that's guiding you through the process. Um, so it's very effective, and the business owners also have peace of mind because they know they're doing something good for their employees, and they're making sure that they are getting, they're not going to have access to getting that, that coverage that, they, that everybody really needs, you know, so uh, very effective, and, you know, Omar and myself, or you know, Raffi, we all, we all can uh, put them together, it's just a matter of meeting with the business owner and just coordinating and scheduling, and then uh, we can move from there. And we do, we do like to create um, a flyer, a partnership flyer, um, just to circulate to the, to the employees so that they know that they need something coming and the date and, and when, when they can come in. And, uh, and then we can practice it uh, from there, right from there. So it's very effective. Excellent. Thank you. So supporting our members during COVID-19. Um, you know, we we have been very, very focused obviously at the health center with what's been going on with the current health climate. So, uh, you know, support members' health and access to care. We do have and we do offer coverage that includes the COVID screening and the testing and the treatment, as well as in network and outpatient uh, mental health services. Um, we work with providers across New York State to increase vaccination rates to make sure that people are getting access to those vaccines. Um, you know, we partner with hospitals, we partner with, you know, with uh, different centers um, to help people get out there. We, we supported a lot during the pandemic at vaccine sites, even if it's just donating bags or, or materials that they might need. So we support that 100%. Um, and we've expanded access uh, out of this pandemic, the tele telemedicine services, which we're going to touch, touch on the next slide, which is sort of similar to what we're doing now, but it's virtual. Right. Uh, they can actually meet with a doctor and they can do their consultation. And then if the need arises, they have to come in, they take you to the next step. But they at least have that option to have a telemedicine meeting. And we've provided updates to our members and to our providers on our website, which is the link to our website. So telemedicine, uh, Adelis Care's telemedicine services offers members access to online doctor visits 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And it's all from the safety and the comfort and the convenience of uh, their home and their homes. We've partnered with Babylon to provide no cost telemedicine visits for members in our Child Health Plus plan, our Healthier Life, our Park plan, Qualified health plans, which are the Obamacare or the metal plans that you can know them, uh, the essential plan, and for Medicaid management uh, files. Well Care by Fidelis, which is our Medicare product now, has partnered with Teladoc to provide no cost telemedicine visits for members in our Medicare Advantage and our Blue Advantage uh, products. We also offer telemedicine visits for our network providers if they offer the service, uh, which we started uh, in June, actually June of 2021 of last year. Regular course shares will apply for telemedicine visits with the network providers. Um, and that is discussed uh, with the actual provider when we get to that. Get to that. We also have community offices, um, 20 across New York State from Long Island to Buffalo. And is, our, is our closest office the Queens one? The one in, was it Regal Park? Or is there a dedicated Bronx office? 
we have uh, we have Bronx, we have uh, Long Island, we have the Queens, the boroughs, uh, you know, Brooklyn, uh, Staten Island. So all the boroughs. Okay, good, excellent. Yeah. I only yeah, ask we, because I know the the email signatures I see from you guys have have Queens in it, so I was just wondering. Because uh, community relations is based out of the uh, the Queens. Uh, the R is based out of Queens. Okay, yeah. got That's it. That's R. But, but we do we we do have two um, community locations in the Bronx. Excellent. Yeah, yeah absolutely. We have one eight thirty Tremont, and the other one I believe is twenty six hundred Southern Boulevard. Yeah, very important to be in the community. Uh, we Agreed. also, and we're going to get to this slide, but we have community vehicles that we want to have, and I'll get to that in a second. But, uh, but we do, we have, you know, these offices are really for people to be able to come and you know, learn more about insurance options. If they need to apply, they can know that uh, they can do coverage, you know, answer questions. You know, sometimes it's just easier to go into the community office rather than try to reach somebody by their phone. But, or do another communication. Um, we do remain focused on the health and safety of the community and our employees. And um, all of these the following uh, state and local guidelines are, are being uh, are done at our COVID 19. The face masks are required. Hand sanitizing stations are on site. Uh, there are safety barriers that have been installed to help maintain the social distancing. Um, and then for a complete list, you can go to our website and you want to see that old flash offices, which will give you a list of all the offices with the addresses and the contact them. So businesses could have, a rep, like we just spoke about, a rep come and talk to multiple employees at once, like, like we were just saying, or if you just bursting at the seams and can't wait to meet with Fidelis, you could go to one of these offices. Absolutely. Excellent. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, another option that we have is sometimes we come to you. We got the also. street team. Nice. Okay. So we have the street side office. Ooh. This is what our community vehicles look like. And this is very effective. It's a mobile office. And we're able to circulate in, in carbon designated areas. People can begin to recognize that we're more consistently and when they uh, we need that, this for that. we need this for chamber on the go. Maybe we can borrow it when you hey, guys are using it. There you it. go. You might be <laughs> something there. That would be fantastic, right? But it's very effective because not everyone is able to get to north, and right. the people do like to have that contact. And so these are these two community vehicles are very effective here. And so we that's our street side uh, RV fleet, and it can be found in more than seventy five street side locations across the country. Um, so, you know, local residents can visit to apply or to renew coverage. They can learn about specific plan options and have all their health insurance questions answered. Our health benefit rates are, are fine. Uh, and it's very effective, really. It's, uh, it is, it's, um, you know, and we, we make sure that we're able to meet with them and handle those uh, requests. No appointments are necessary. It's just the local uh, mobile that you can know, just walk in. Um, and you can also schedule a time to meet. With one of our representatives uh, so that you can make a point. If you don't just randomly go in, you know that the RV is parking in a certain location, you can reach uh, the 888 number or contact Omar or any of us here, and uh, you know, we'll be able to connect you to, uh, to where you can actually rent your vehicle. Uh, now, do these come? Do these come to like the big events, or do you guys do more of a traditional tabling, tent tabling kind of a thing? I guess maybe it depends do, on the size of the event. Yeah, when, when uh, the weather's warm, we can do tabling, where we'll just set up uh, uh, a, ta a table, an informational table, we'll put up a tent and we'll have the RV you know, uh, there, or we'll do an event around the RV, we'll pick the location and we'll have the RV there, and people will come in and we'll use that the office for them to come in. Um, so we absolutely do, do that. Of course, now with the pandemic, we're not at full speed with that because we're as well, taking a step back as we watch as this rolls out. But it is something that we will be getting back to, and it is a big part of how we, we do our business and how we support the community. So, um, absolutely, the RV, uh, we like to have them visible and present at our events, and uh, definitely for even uh, what we call um, like the Fidelis Corner somewhere in a specific location where you set up a tent and pay them. You know, uh, some information and the RV will be visible so people can see what we're here. 
our, our events calendar is really starting to fill up and we're, we're very hopeful that uh, once we get through this surge that maybe we can avoid another surge and be able yes. to, you know, especially when the weather gets warmer, start to gather again and, you know, do what we do best. Everybody in the Bronx loves, you know, an awesome street fair, community fairs, Absolutely. you know, you yeah. know, I used to do many of them in optical outreach in my past life. So uh, I would be, you know, at the pop-up tent, you know, doing the, you know, yeah. if I had a van, I'd be driving it, you know, so we're, we're all excited to get back to that. Absolutely. It really is good. It's fun. It's kind of fun also just to be out there and be able to camp around like that and just talk to communities, you know, people in the community, even business owners. You know, but you guys have good business. giveaways too. We have good giveaways too. Good so swag. Really a, a little, nice. little bonus there. Really, uh, thank you so much. But, uh, you know, even with business owners, you know, we can set up in front of the shop and we can do a specific event around the business. You know, and right. have the RV parked in front, you know, and then we can promote that event and have a table and tent set up and say, you know, now it's RV will be here. You know, so there's a lot of possibilities where we can work together with the businesses. Um, and that, of course, um, when the weather is nice, it's a perfect opportunity. That is just to mention Fidelis, we have our mascot, which is, which is Fidelisaurus. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, at one point in our events, we bring a person who can wear it like a performer, who can wear that mascot. And, you know, if there's any music or any like, you know, fun interaction. A little break dancing, maybe? A little b-boy? I, I have one video of one little girl in one of my events. She was like <laughs> dancing with him, like left and right. I was like, girl, take it easy. But she was like ah. really, really Oh my gosh. The kids, the kids really look also, like, a, like a seven foot dinosaur. Uh, we have little stuffed dinosaurs that we give out. And so we have cute. a mascot that actually gets to put the, the costume on. It's larger than life. And, and the, kids, uh, the kids love it. And, and it's also good. We see them at events. You know, it, it stirs an interest in the community and people see it. And uh, this, and this is part of the connections that you know, we definitely want to continue to help facilitate amongst, you know, ours are yours and yours are ours, right? You know, just across the network, we have so many, not only business owners, but organization heads um, and on our membership who, uh, and partners who I know are anxious to really get back to uh, the collaborative community life and, and events are a central part of that. So hopefully we can yeah facilitate those connections across our, our member network and our extended partner right. network so that we can see this, the RV fleet all over the Bronx. And that was it, Fidelosaurus? Yeah, yeah. Break Absolutely. dancing in our streets. <laughs> yeah. We do uh, we do something, sometimes we do, we get a, a bunch of our Fidelis fans who were doing it right before the pandemic and then when things started to get a little bit lighter. We take out six or seven of our RVs and we'll do like a caravan around Oh, People nice. See us, okay. Let them know that we're the one that we're around, and then we'll stop, uh, you know, different areas and to give out information, some dinos, you know, water, things of that nature, um, just so that people know that we're out there and we're available for them. So I think that's something that we also can do. Just a reminder, Sarah. Honestly, we as a team, we always when we're working with organizations or any kind of uh, agency. We try to basically brainstorm how can we come up together with an idea just for the benefit of their community as well as our potential members and things like that. So we always brainstorm in ideas. If one, for example, one one uh, aspect will work for one organization, it may not work for, uh, right. for another uh, for another organization, and we try to uh, bring ideas and just like for example with the chamber and things like that. Uh, so we're always having that con uh, interaction and that communication with our partners. What can we do or how can we do it for the benefit of? Very uh, tailored approach, yeah. right? Not, no, no one size fits all here. Yes, especially with, with businesses, we can, you know, we have reps that we, that we work with where we need their materials. The goal is to work with the business so that they can also grow their business as well. Right. You know, they have, if we are working with them, we're, the goal is to bring people towards them. And they have to stand. 
And the business owner is doing something very good for the community because they're helping them to get access to health insurance, which is so so key and so important. So it's a it's a home run for them because they're giving back to the community and they're like partnering with us, you know, in the health plan. We get shown concern for the employees, but then also for the community. So we develop those partnerships also with the business owners where we have our materials there. And if somebody comes through that needs something and we're able to help out the way to support them through that. So many, just a lot of options to explore. So this yeah. is a, it'll be a good, it'll be a good time going forward for us. No matter, it seems that you've really adapted, uh, you know, to meet everybody where they're at, right? And all, all mm -hmm. different, um, levels. So we'll, we'll definitely work together to make sure that we can spread this message and the access far and wide. Okay. So one of the things that have, uh, have come out because of the pandemic, obviously we're not able to meet with people in person and the state grants us uh, permission to be able to do enrollments over the phone. So now it's it's a much easier process to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with someone over the phone. And that's why like we have our own put his contact info around here so he needs our put mine. Uh, you can call us if anyone out there is interested on information, you can get to us directly. You can of course call the 88 number, uh, which we've seen a few times now. But also you can reach out to any of us directly and we'll be happy to uh, kind of speed up the process and make sure that somebody gets back to you right now. Um, you know, we are very focused on that. So if there is anyone out there that has any questions who wants to have a follow-up, um, you know, just reach out to us uh, and we'll be happy to do that. But for us, just as a general rule, you can always also call out the bonus number the or the PTY number to 711, and you can get information and apply that as well. Um, when you get to that point, when you're ready to enroll, you do need to have um, a citizenship or immigration status available, your social security number, your birth date, and household income. It's those four things to get the application process, and then uh, and then we start and move from there. So that is the end of our presentation. Again, once again, um, there is our 888 to number. Uh, we will put our contact in the chat as well and um, the follow-up. Uh, and if anybody has any questions, uh, please, please go ahead and submit or ask. Thank you. That was great. Thank you so much. Uh, last call for questions, comments. Just wanna let everybody have ample time to pop those in the chat or the Q&A. Uh, otherwise, we will start to wrap up. And as a reminder, we were recording, we are recording, and uh, this will be available. Uh, we're going to put it up on our YouTube and link to it on our social. And of course, we're going to tag at Fidelis Care. And uh, everyone has put their info into the chat. So uh, please feel free to go ahead and copy paste uh, if you want to reach Rudy, Rodolfo, Omar, or Ranfi. And of course, or Francisco <laughs> for our, our Bronx Chamber membership and also just general services. We do have a lot of programs, events, services that are not limited to our registered members. There are many opportunities to get to know the chamber through our grant funded programs such as MWBE certification and other methods. Um, all of all, Almost all of our events are open to members and as we call them prospective future members. So we do hope to see you uh, once things open back up a bit. Um, we do have a robust event calendar of virtual uh, you know, Zoom webinars such as this one and also uh, many opportunities to mix and mingle at our networking events that are slated for a couple of months down the road. We are looking to host as many of them in uh, outdoor locations as possible, hopefully uh, heated covered outdoor locations, um, you know, while we wait for the weather to warm up and then, you know, have some open air opportunities to get to know each other and learn more about the chamber's legislative advocacy commitment. Um, that's something that is uh, uh, very important 
because we have a, a whole new slate of elected officials who have just come on board here in New York City. And there's uh, a lot of information that we want to make sure our business owners and community members are aware of. So I just want to put that last plug in there again. Um, you know, we do hope to have as many new businesses and organizations join us as uh, as registered members, but also there are many other opportunities to get to know our work and try it out. Try before you buy, as we say. So um, please feel free to get in touch with Francisco, francisco at bronxchamber.org, or you can call us 718-828-3900. Uh, I would like to just take this opportunity to once again, thank our representatives from Fidelis Care for putting on a really great uh, presentation for us today. There was, there's really a lot. Um, I know I've been very confused about my uh, health coverage options in the past. Um, you know, the Affordable Health Care Act it opened up so much for us, but also with more options can come more confusion sometimes. So um, thanks for making it really easy for us to see what our options are through Fidelis Care. And uh, again, we will have this recording available um, linked on our website as well as our social media. And uh, I do hope that everyone who participated today will, uh, will go ahead and, and look into Fidel's Care as an option for their health care. So thank you all again so much for uh, joining with us today. Thank you for your partnership uh, and for being a, a corporate member of the Bronx Chamber. Um, with that, I'm going to go ahead and close. I don't see any more questions. So thank you all again so much. And uh, we'll talk soon. All right. Not everyone, thank you. Thank you thank so you much. Thank you. Thank you. Take thank care, you. everybody. All right. Good Take night. Care, Stay Take well. Care. All right. Thank you, Francisco. Take care, everyone. Have a good night. Bye. You too. Bye-bye.